Alright guys, Zypho here with another long plane review for you today and it's Chicago 90 on the Amstrad CPC uh, released uh, by Microids in 1989 and was also ported to the Atari ST, Amiga and PC DOS Now it's a, a cops and robbers chase game from an overhead isometric perspective players either the gangster trying to escape the city or take control of six different police cars trying to capture the gangster over three different uh, stages of difficulty. Uh, just quickly, the programmer was Patrick Lenestor, but I can't find any other games he's done on the Amstrad, and graphics by uh, Cedric Cezal, uh, who also did graphics for Eagles Rider from Microids, and Aurelian Maru, I'm probably not pronouncing that right, who also did graphics for Eagles Rider and Highway Patrol, also from Microids. And as you can see, we've got a lovely uh, loading screen there. And Microids were known for having really nice, colourful graphics. Um, and they were a huge supporter of the Amstrad CPC. In fact, it was their primary target platform for most of the 80s. Okay, so uh, here's the uh, title screen with uh, graphical options you can choose between. You can either select to be the police or the gangster, choose your difficulty level, joystick or keys, and we're going to start with uh, being the gangster on level one, and we're going to do each of the three levels for both the gangster and the police. Uh, there I am in my little red sports car, and uh, as you can see, I'm the red dot on the map in the uh, centre bottom of the screen. And don't forget, we're in France, so we're driving on the right-hand side of the road, not the left. <laughs> and there are four exits, um, at the uh, one per north, south, east and west of the map, and we're heading towards the north exit. Now there, you can see that on the uh, map there. And also to the right of the map, there's another window there, which I can't quite work out what that's for. I think it's a zoomed in version of the map, which is just confusing. So it's probably best uh, ignored. And, and there's a north exit coming up, you'll see it shortly. And it should be on the left here. There's the exit escapes the country. We've got stuck behind a green car there. And you've got a gun you can shoot. You can't blow up anything or kill anything. It's just shoot the police and they wobble about the road and it, and it disorientates them. And there you go guys, we've escaped and we get a nice little screen there. And then we get told our score, which is same as the uh, timer but added an extra zero at the end there. And there you go. So we're now going to do the police on level 1, and then we'll do the gangster on level 2, police level 2, gangster level 3, police level 3, and that will be the end of the long play. Now the police is a little bit harder to explain what's going on. We've got six different cars, and you press the number of the car to sort of either take control of it, or press V so you can use the map and scroll the map around by using E, D, S and F on your keyboard. If you want to take control of a police car, press the number and then press the letter L. Or you can send police cars chasing after the criminal by pressing letter K, which I'm doing right now. And can you see there on the left, all the uh, police cars have had their symbol changed to a red car with a blue arrow underneath it. And it's disorientated me a little bit uh, because I was concentrating doing that and I've crashed a few times. So yeah, I believe I was the blue dot. Now I'm taking control of car number two. 
which is the light blue dot and the criminal should be heading right towards him. There he is, he's just turned uh, down there and then we got crashed and stuck. Yeah, it can be quite annoying crashing into other cars and walls in this game. It can get stuck sometimes. So I'm going to shoot my gun at him. The police have a gun too and you can see there it disorientates him and it makes him wobble off the road. Right, basically we've captured him, but the and there's the other police cars arriving. And what you actually need to do is try and sandwich him between two different police cars. Either to the left or right of him or front to back. And see this is where a little problem comes in with the game. Because we've now got a taxi in the way. Oh, finally the game's registered that we've captured him, and we get a nice screen there showing the criminal being captured. Cool. Um, so yeah, this is quite a fun little game in short blasts. Um, although there's not much to it. <laughs> so, we're going to move on to uh, being the gangster, but on level 2 this time. And as you can see guys, it's quite a short long play. We're over and done with in about 15 minutes. Now the in the in the in the map there, you can see the sort of a green squiggle in a square shape uh, at the top and the left there. That's that is supposed to indicate that the uh, exit is further away than the other side of the map. So if he doesn't have a squiggle from what I've read anyway it's supposed to indicate that you're quite far away from the exit so really I should be going for the exit on the um, east or the south of the map oh there you go, see the, guy, uh, the police uh, shot me there and it made me wobble around and lose control so yeah you want to take as many turns as you can although it's a lot harder to turn in the red sports car he tends to go uh, a little bit faster or accelerate away quicker oh my god I'm stuck on the edge of the map there if that happens you want to reverse and the way you reverse is to reduce your speed to zero press the fire button and push back on the joystick and that will put you in reverse and to go back to accelerating you pretty much do exactly the same oh and there's the exit we've just missed firing back because I think we're stuck there and we're so close to the exit the police are coming yeah the police are there but he's gone into the taxi can we sneak round him oh god we're about to get caught if I'm not careful your speed uh, and which gear you're in is in the bottom left corner of the screen there you can see that I'm about 50, 60, 70, 80 miles per hour Oh, there we go, we managed to get to the exit. Cool. So that's level two done for the gangster. And yay, we've escaped. So now we'll do the police on level two. And what you want to do here is switch between the different cars using the numbers one to six. And. Uh, V to view the map, their map rather than take control of them and find where which car is nearest the gangster take control of that police car by pressing the letter L and then send all the other cars after him by pressing K to be honest it's probably a good idea just to press K for all the cars right at the start ok so number 4 there the light green dot light green colour for the car uh, is nearest the uh, criminal and now I'm sending the other cars um, to chase as well you can see the symbols changing there on the left and there's the criminal so if you're clever you can catch them quite quickly we now just need to uh, trap him between two police cars and he's not going anywhere. One thing I should note that if I take control of another police car which is off the map you will find that the criminal has probably escaped and has wriggled away. 
if that's one or if you go off the screen. You see, I'm just trying to <laughs> get away from this bloody green car. And you can see there that there's other police cars on the on the map there about to arrive, so I'm about to arrest him. He's stuck, he's going nowhere. Here they come. And there you go. Criminal arrested. It's quite good fun. Um But that's it. That's all there is to the game. There's no extra modes, there's no two player. It'd be quite hard to do two player on this. So yeah, just moving to level three for the gangster now. Um it is enjoyable in quick bursts. Um may not have been too happy to pay full price for the game at the time, but um it is it is fun. It's certainly flawed. Uh, the controls do take quite a bit of getting used to. Oh, check that out! Dukes of Hazard style jump over the police. Yeah, if you want to do jumps, uh, if you sort of nudge the scenery that you're closest to, if you're going at a certain speed, you'll go flying in the air, which is nice. Leading to some spectacular stunts there. So that's kind of cool. That gives the game a little bit extra there. There you go. Whee! Um, so this is this is a game that's quite hard to review because for what it is, is pretty good. I mean, you'll get frustrated initially with the controls and getting stuck on things, but you kind of get used to it and the more you play it and work around it. Um, but otherwise, lovely graphics. It moves quite well. Not the best frame rate in the world. Uh, but to be expected on a 8-bit computer, especially in Amstrad, um, sound effects are all right. There's no music. Um, I'm sort of thinking as a review score, maybe a like a seven out of ten, but with a warning that there isn't much replay value. You're going to play it for maybe ten minutes to half an hour, get a bit bored and move on and maybe come back to it a few weeks later a few months later but there's essentially nothing too much wrong with the game there's, it just lacks depth so yeah I think I'll give it a 7 out of 10 I think it's a 70% game so there you go that's level 3 on the gangster done and we've escaped so for the last bit of the video it'll be uh, level 3 um, for the police and that will be it. But um, check out my last video game. Uh, that, bleh, start again. Check out my last video, guys. Um, I did all of the games from Microids in a kind of a let's play, Chicago Night included. Um, there are some other fantastic games from Microids. Super Ski being one, Wings of Fury, Shuffle Puck Cafe, Eagles Rider. Lots to check out there. So check out that last video I did. Whoa! The criminal's just gone by me. Right, I've got all the other police cars chasing him now. Yeah, he moves a lot quicker. Oh god, and I got stuck. That's the annoying. That's the really annoying part of this game. <laughs> He's just driven into me. Sometimes the criminal can be really dumb. I'm just reversing back to try and get him in the uh, crossroads here. It'd be easier and quicker for the other police cars to capture him. So yeah, the other police cars just gone straight into the side of me. <laughs> there's the one arrived, and there's a big police car pile up going on, kind of like, kind of like in the Blues Brothers movie. <laughs> Number five, the, uh, the 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 police car with the white dot. Where is he? Where on earth is he going? Oh, he's finally catching up as is the orange one. And what, what I'm trying to do now is just get behind him so so we can sandwich him and that'll be game over for him. Uh, I'm just trying to get around him and keep getting stuck. So collision detection, not fantastic at times. Yeah, you can't blow him off. <laughs> I think we're going to have to try and wait for another police car to arrive behind. Otherwise, I'm going to have to loop, loop myself around 
and he might wriggle free and escape because the, it gets, the computer gets a little confused. But I think the uh, green dot, not car number four, is about to come around the back and trap him. So yeah, there we go. So yeah, Chicago 90. <laughs> That's all the uh, levels complete for both the gangster and the police. Get a nice score there. And that's it, guys. Uh, so, yeah, L nice graphics, okay sound effects, decent gameplay, but very shallow, lacking in depth, and a uh, little replay value. Um, so, overall, um, I'll have to give this a 7 out of 10. And, uh, yeah. Check out more Microids games. Uh, so check out the last video on my channel. I hope you enjoyed. And thanks for watching. See you again soon, guys. Cheers. Goodbye. So thanks for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed that. If you did, please click a like below, leave a comment, and also subscribe if you haven't already. And over that way, there's another video for you to check out. Zypho, out.